All right, I'm kind of tired of seeing this uh, discussion permanently on the Twitter timeline. Uh, everyone versus Project Dash and A. Is it true? Is it meme? Is it serious? Is it not serious? I'll just tell you right now what the logic is, although I don't agree with the logic, but I just want to tell you what it is. So basically, there's 10 tiers overall, but before this, uh, a year or two ago, it used to be like this. So you have nine tiers, nine tiers. And if you put a circle around platinum, plat, you have four tiers to the left, and you have four tiers to the right. Okay, so it's like evenly spread out. Four to the left, four to the right. That leaves plat dead in the center. Therefore, the left is low elo, the right is high elo. Plat is dead in the center. That's what the logic is. Now, they added emerald, so the logic is, uh, which I, again, I don't agree with any of these logics, but the logic is now it's like, you know, you have four to the left, four to the right, and then you have these two in the in the middle. You have these two in the middle. Why does this happen? It's because they added emerald, so now there's ten tiers, right? There's five and five, there's ten. So it's on an odd number like nine, so you can't have a tier in the center. Now the counterpoint, of course, is since you can't have a tier in the center, you can only have two, you can also say, well, perhaps mid-elo is gone now, and there's just low elo and high elo. And now there's no such thing as medial because no tiers in the dead center. That's the Project Ash and A numbers way of looking at it. Then the other way of looking at it is the percent way, which I also disagree with. It's the percent way goes something like Masters Plus is the top 1% of people, and above gold or silver, whatever, is like 70% of people. I don't know the exact numbers, but you know. So this is like a percent thing, like, oh, you know, 25% of players are here, 30% are here, 70% are this or above. It's all this, like, percent numbers game. Now, I also don't like this percent numbers game because <laughs> if you really think about it, it's just kind of like the advanced way of doing the Project Ash mistake, which is like bundling people based on some random numbers. It's like, when you look at the percent, it doesn't tell you anything about the skill gaps between the tiers. It just tells you how many people are in each tier. It tells you how players are spread out. But since it fails to look at the skill gap, like for example, I'll give you an example and tell you what the, the third way of looking at this is, is. What is the skill gap between Masters and Challenger? What is the skill gap between Silver and Gold? What is the skill gap between Gold and Diamond? And so, <clears throat> I'll just tell you right now. The skill gap between Masters and Challenger is roughly the same as going from masters to gold it's quite similar like you think about the gap in skill knowledge and mechanics and all these things you know how when you compare the two there's just like the entire outclassing between the two players if it's and if it's not gold like i'm not happy if it's not gold it's like masters to plat or something like that but i i swear the difference is like this this is like the same skill gap and so this is the third way of looking at it and categorizing it, is how big are the skill gaps between each one? And when there's a big enough skill gap, or when the skill gaps are close enough, you group or separate certain tiers. So I'll just tell you right now. Masters and Challenger, even in fucking Paradise, they shouldn't be in the same tier. There's too big of a skill gap. So I just put it like this. In fact, the biggest insult you can give a Challenger player is probably telling them that they're Masters. That will you, you insult them with any other tier, they won't get as offended as if, if you tell them they're Masters. Okay. So I would group this like that. And then Masters, a couple years ago, I would say it's its own tier. But nowadays, it's like this. Masters and Diamonds, the same shit. And then this right here, Emerald, Gold, and Plaid, they're kind of bundled into the same thing. You guys kind of know what they're doing. And then... <coughs> And these last three, these guys have no fucking clue what they're doing, right? If you want a true, true tier, then High Challenger would have its own little tier. But these, this is roughly how it looks like when you compare tiers based on the skill gap. You know, these guys can kind of grapple with each other. But you know, when it comes to High Challenger, these guys kind of just take over any fucking game, any fucking ladder, any fucking top 10 ranking placements that they want, right? They can do whatever the fuck they want. Now, last year, there were about 13,000 Masters players, and I'll just tell you right now, this thing is the same thing. This thing just blends in. Diamond Masters is the same shit. Masters players always want to be like the most discriminatory ones, and at the same time, they're like, even at the LP numbers, they try to say, oh, 200 LP and above. Because 200 LP and above, a couple of years ago, it was a decent cutoff. It would be like, oh, Masters players actually start getting good above 200 LP. But then this is carried over for like 
three, four years, people are still calling, oh, 200 LPR. But this shit no longer is in effect, okay? This section right here is just the same shit. It doesn't matter how much LP, where you are, it's the same shit. Season 13, there were 12,000 players in Master Tiers NA. Four years ago, there were only 1,000. 1,000 players in Masters. 1,000. Season 10, look it up. There were 1,000 players. 1 1.6 thousand players in Masters. Season 13, 12,000. Please look it up. I'll leave a link down in the description. <clears throat> but basically what I'm trying to say is the Notorious Master Tier has lost all of its value. And it's a lot closer to this section than it is to the, to the right. Anyways, those are my thoughts. That's what I think about how people divide tiers. Um, yeah, the numbers way stupid. The percent way is just as stupid because it's like the advanced way of making the same mistake. But the problem is uh, th this method right here, it's really hard to relate to unless you've talked with people or experienced it yourself where you actually see just how big the skill gaps are within these like top percent of tiers because the thing is most people don't understand like just how big these gaps are and the only way i could give you some sense of comparison is what i you know the comparison i made like masters to gold the same difference for masters to challenger same skill gap so that's the purpose of this method is to just make those astronomical gaps as like separate as possible Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, I'm about to go to sleep a couple hours, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.